We are all very proud collectively to be here. Uh, Mum and I, um, Anne, Deb. About a week ago, or two weeks ago, I was fortunate enough to meet uh, Nick's grandmother, Frances, who's sitting right here. And when I walked in, and the first thing she greeted me with, she said, your daughter is absolutely beautiful and she's a lovely person. Equally like my Ed, my grandson, I thought. Yeah, <laughs> Very good. Uh, no, not Nick. No, not Nick. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it actually was Nick, to be quite honest. <laughs> but, um, well, welcome, welcome, and uh, it's, it's fantastic. We are um, so proud of uh, Tess. We're so proud of you, Nick, and I know I mentioned you before. <laughs> but I think um, Anne and I have been um, absolutely thrilled with the, the uh, relationship these two have had together and the love that they've got for each other. And I can remember speaking with Joe and I can remember speaking with uh, Jeff saying, you know, God, if they can live through lockdown together and then still want to be engaged, get married, that's a, a, a good testament, I think. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, well, I can hide a lot. No, but it, it is absolutely, it's wonderful that uh, you two are uh, going to be married and it, it's just, it's beautiful for all of the relations, all of the friends and we all know how well that you get on together. And I go for a walk with Tess every Thursday and she tells me how wonderful young uh, Nick is and then I'll speak to Nick and he'll tell me how wonderful Tess is. And I'm just thinking, that is absolutely brilliant. And then there was a time when uh, Nick rang and he said, uh, listen, I want to catch up. And uh, it was during COVID. I want to catch up soon to uh, take you and Anna out for breakfast. And Anna and I have thought, oh, this could be... <laughs> Could be it. And anyway, so we got through the COVID. We went to a uh, he took us out for breakfast this morning, and um, and he uh, and we sort of knew what was happening. And he said, "Oh, I'd love to marry your daughter Tess." And we've gone, "Yes, so we look like it." But it's it, it so it's so welcoming that they just get along beautifully. And I'm I'm so proud of I'm so proud of both of you. Um, and you'll have a, a great life together. You get along famously, and all the parents can be all proud. So, um, for that, I just want to uh, now pass over to Joe, and she'll make a toast to you guys. And, um, Um, everyone, I'm going to sign 
everyone that I, um, that I met was uh, so welcoming and lovely and hilarious. We have a lot of laughs. Um, I'm also really grateful to Nick. I don't know, well, most people have heard this story if I've had a few drinks, but Nick organised. Um, how many barbecues was it? Where's Gia? Yes, uh, it was two. <laughs> two barbecues. One, you didn't show up. Second one, next week. Oh, you didn't show up. I didn't show no, up. Two either. Either. <laughs> I might not show up to either, but. <laughs> well, it has been trashed since, so. <laughs> Nick organised a few weird random barbecues with like my closest friends and a few guys, and I was busy every time or said I was going and never turned up, so he finally asked me out. Day. Ooh. <laughs> I'm glad you did. Because Good on otherwise, yeah, would have gone nowhere. <laughs> um, I feel, yeah, I feel so lucky to have met you and to, to share life with you, and I can't wait to meet you. Hey. Oh, lovely. Oh. Um, yeah, family's really important to both of us, which is. Um, part of the reason why we kind of, I suppose, fell for each other, because it's a big deal, so having Tammy here, yeah, and um, all of my really close family friends, and Kath, Johnny, Paula, who are like aunties and uncles to me, um, thank you to all of my friends as well, and Nick's family for coming, and thank you to my sibling. There's one sibling missing, she's probably asleep right now, <laughs> so um, yeah, can't wait to have her back. Thanks for work. Well done. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I love you and thank you for coming. Oh, yeah, I'll be quick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> extremely, extremely brief. No, I, uh, I, I've known a lot of Tess's close friends since I was kind of 15, 16, and I kind of knew of Tess, but she had a boyfriend for a long time back in the day, and she was really rocking up to the events all day, even though I kind of knew of her, and I, every now and then, I'd say, from probably my early 20s, I kind of like, kind of, it sounds kind of creepy, but I can't. I knew, I knew who she, I knew of her, I knew who she was, and then, yeah, I got to a point where I kind of looked at her Instagram and her Facebook creepy again. And I was like, I'd like to meet this girl properly. So my good friend Gia over here, I think it was actually three barbecues. Was it three? I was trying to be like strategic, speaking to some of her best mates, being like, hey, you should come along, bring that Tess. <laughs> she didn't rock up to that Tess. And didn't, didn't actually get the hint either that I was like trying to invite her, which I don't get because I couldn't be more blunt. <laughs> anyway, I eventually asked her out and she agreed. And actually the, the saving grace was, which I didn't realise at the time obviously, my mum's from Tasmania and Anne's from Tasmania originally. So that was kind of like a really easy kind of icebreaker when we both realised that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I was going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> so that kind of like pushed the conversation and then, yeah, we went out on the first date. And I honestly, it sounds corny and cliche, but it was just everything was so easy and enjoyable. And I, I'd never had that before. I think I said that to Tess on like the second or third day. She probably scared her a little bit. <laughs> I, think I, said, I think I said I love you about two and a half weeks in. <laughs> I love you. I got out of the shower at like 4 a.m. and you were brushing your teeth. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love you a bit too much. Um, yeah, I love it to death. Everything, not just our relationship, it was. I'm a mummy yeah. boy. <laughs> Mum meeting <laughs> Tess, meeting the rest, Tess meeting the rest of my family, meeting Tess's family. Everything was just like, it just made sense and it was so easy and it's, yeah, unbelievable. I'm extremely happy. I love you. Oh. Well done. Well said, except for shower parts. Yeah. So, how do you hear people after all that sort of stuff? Three cheers, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Hooray! 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 Hooray!
charcoal tablet every morning <laughs> because of the um, <laughs> and secondly I am terrified after they get married if he comes around to the house and says oh my dad I've got another tap I would hate <laughs> so they're the only two things that worry me I couldn't be happier Viv and I have, have always thought Tess was just delightful and I know um, Nick is just Nick is just Nick <laughs> and he's just he's, he's just a, a fantastic bloke and I couldn't be happier either Tess is just lovely and I'm sure the wedding will be a beauty so, uh, it will boys need something to look forward to certainly we'll look forward to that yeah. cheers Oh, no, I'll do a bunch. 